During the THQ Nordic showcase last weekend, a new trailer was released for Alex 2. Alex 2 is under the same developers as Gothic and the Risen franchises. The sequel sets to be quite an ambitious project and hopefully will give fans something to look forward to. The first title, Alex, was released in 2017 as a single player action RPG. The latest trailer gives a closer look at the Alex 2 story, set in a sci fi fantasy open world universe. It shows some of the faction struggles and includes hungry aliens. There was no release date announcement, but Alex 2 will be coming to PC, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X and S, and Xbox One. Zenimax gave a preview of the upcoming Update 32 and Deadlands DLC coming to the Elder Scrolls Online during their livestream. The update sets to add a number of new features including the new armory system which will allow players to switch between builds more easily. This feature will be coming to all platforms as part of the base game. The build loadouts will let you set up skills, morphs, attributes, weapons, champion points, armor and even curses. Other features coming include curated item set collections that will help reduce the RNG of getting certain items in dungeons. There are also quality of life features such as incursions being shown when active and sky shards now appearing on your compass and map when you're close. Elder Scrolls Online is also getting DLSS, which will work with the RTX 20 series and 30 series. A new feature from NVIDIA called Deep Learning Anti-Aliasing will also be coming to ESO as one of the first games to have this feature. As for the Deadlands, the new zone Deadlands will introduce new areas which are part of the Daedric realm of Maroon's Dagon, including the Flea Pit. This includes new delves to explore. The zone DLC will be of a similar size to previous DLC zones such as Marketh or Dragonhold. Developer Vicarious Visions has revealed they have plenty of ideas for new content for Diablo 2 Resurrected which released this week. In a media interview via Windows Central, Studio Vicarious Visions design director Rob Gallarani and product lead Michael Bukowski shared more about the creation of Diablo 2 Resurrected also sharing a little about what might come in the future for the remaster. Gallarani said that the team is currently focusing on the core game, but also had a few ideas of what the future may hold for the action RPG. New ideas include adding rune words, new items, rebalancing and more, but keeping the core game intact. Diablo 2 Resurrected is now available on PC and Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5 and Nintendo Switch. If you want to see the game in action, be sure to drop by our Fetch Your Life Twitch channel to check it out with us. We also have a number of builds available over on our Diablo 2 Resurrected wiki, so you can check them out there too. The release date for The Good Life was announced this week. The game by the Deadly Premonition director Hidetaka Square Suhiro sets to be a life sim game but with a detective RPG twist. The title will be releasing this October 15th. While the game follows a similar idea of license where you can plant crops and there's farming which is popular, but The Good Life follows a less typical path with jam making, cryptocurrency mining and more while solving a grisly murder. The main character Naomi will use her photojournalism skills or using more unconventional methods of gaming clues such as using a cat to help traverse the town or a dog to help sniff out clues. The Good Life releases October 15th on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, Switch and PC. Square Enix and developer Hand has announced Neo The World Ends With You will be coming to PC on September 28th. The PlayStation 4 and Switch versions of the game were released earlier this year in July with a PC version announced for this year. The release date has been confirmed for the follow-up of the classic JRPG. Neo The World Ends With You has a unique pin battle system with over 300 pins available which can be equipped assigning them to teammates, each with its own particular ability. Safe to say there are numerous combinations to be created. The MMORPG New World will be launching next week on PC and the developer Amazon Games has revealed the server list dependent on region. There are over 170 different servers under North America, North America West, Central Europe, South America and Australia. The list will hopefully get you and your friends prepared for which servers you want to play on. There are quite a few under each region so there's plenty of choice. There are also language recommended servers as well. In other news, you can begin pre-downloading the launch client on September 27th at 8am PT or 11am ET. So if you want to get your game installed before the servers go live, be sure to get that done. New World will release on PC on September 28th. If you're looking for all things New World, be sure to drop by our New World wiki for all the latest. 
Capcom announced during the Nintendo Direct this week that Monster Hunter Rise, the acclaimed action RPG, will be getting its first expansion, Sunbreak, on the Nintendo Switch and PC next year in summer 2022. The expansion was revealed with a debut trailer featuring a new eerie setting and an all new menacing monster. While details about new monsters and quests and things weren't revealed, there should be some new information underway. We will be also seeing more Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak at TGS 2021 through Capcom's lineup which will be live streamed on September 30th at 6am PDT. Voice of Cards The Isle of Dragon Rules was teased earlier this month as a card-based tabletop RPG coming from the creative director of the newest series, Yoko Taro. Finally, an announcement trailer was revealed this week, revealing a tabletop adventure depicted completely by cards. A demo was also announced which is now available to play. The trailer previews some of the tabletop RPG in action, completely made up of cards including the world you traverse. The narrator outlines the premise of the story and gameplay shows a game piece which moves across cards which makes up the path travelled. It also shows a brief battle of cards with numbers depicting damage and also status effects such as paralysis. While the game isn't part of the Draken Guard series or Nier franchise of games, players can still pick up a bundle DLC crossover with Nier Replicant, which features costumes, emerald designs, including dice, music from the game, and more. Voice of Cards The Isle of Dragon Rules releases on PC, Switch, and PS4 on October 28th. A demo is now available on all platforms. Well that's it for the week in the wikis, please join us again next week for yet another great week of gaming. Remember to check out our VIP program for some exclusive supporter benefits and budding writers should take advantage of our Become an Author initiative. Thanks again for being part of this great community. Keep checking in with us with news, reviews, YouTube streams and vids, and general wiki goodness.